people, so here is the deck profile for Plague Wishes 2 Battle. As you know, with the changes, we're taking off two decks off of Daily Duels and Vitamin Y, respectively. So, uh, these decks will be getting their deck profiles Tuesday through Friday, and then take the weekends off and come back with the changes on a Monday. So, uh, today we're doing Plague Wishes 2 Battle, then we will do Burning Abyss, then uh, New Balance Actors, and uh, Roldix, and those are the four decks that are being taken off. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do deck profiles like we usually do, talk about the deck, what I like, what I dislike, why I did the things that I did, and if you always want to go ahead and take the deck and make changes and play it yourself, then hey, more power to you, but this deck is pretty, pretty stable. So, of course, you don't have to run one of each, you bell, no more, no less, one of each, you know. It sucks that the number generator makes me draw all the time, but, you know, it's better than, you know, playing multiple copies, because you only need one, you bell. Then, of course, it's uh, Plague Wish Bell, so we got Triple Plague, Triple Mally. You guys know the Plague Mally combo, of course. Uh, when Mally's in your graveyard, you can banish it to go ahead and summon another Mally from your deck. And then, uh, Plague is a level 2 tuner that you can place a card on top of your deck to summon it from the graveyard. So, you know, if you open up with a, a Plague and, you know, you have a way to get Mally, it's a double sink. You can go, you know, Mally, Banish, Summon, summon Normal Summon, Plague, Sink, then Banish Mally, the Mally that you just synced with, summon the third Mally from your deck, then use Plague Effect, put a card on top of your deck, summon Plague, and sing again. So, uh, pretty much the reason why I'm taking this deck off is because you get the gist of it. I mean, there's literally not much difference between this deck and, like, Super Ice when it comes to, like, synchroing. They both go into the same synchro. Except this one runs, um, you know, in my, in my opinion, a less consistent engine because now i got to run, you know, not only Triple Mally, which, of course, I have to risk a drawing, and... Um, and Plague 2, you know, while, you know, Supervise is just like Doom Shaman, who also has synergy with the Bell, so, yeah, but, it's been on here for, uh, I think, I think, like, 80 plus episodes, and, you know, it just, out of all the decks, I was just like, you know what, I think it's Plague's starting time to go, you know, and it's been on here since the beginning, it's been on here since the beginning, it used to be called Yvonne Destiny, then Kakashi Kyle did something different, I let him just take the term, and I was like, you know, it's not even really a Destiny deck, because it's literally all I have, the only Destiny hero I have is uh, Destiny and Malicious, so I was like, nah, let's change it, so I was like, well, what am I going to call it, well, it runs Plague, and it runs Malicious, plague Licious. so, uh, yeah, just going to take it off now, but yeah, this is pretty much the engine, it's pretty much it, this is the only thing that makes it different, is these two wasn't really worth devoting whole deck, but it was fun, and I didn't mind it being on here, you know. It was an easy way to go ahead and go into Beals, so it has, like, Terror on the field, it was a nice little cute combo. I didn't mind the deck. You know, I'm not taking off because it's bad, I'm taking off because, uh, when do you make room, and you guys get the gist of it. Anyway, of course, Triple Dog Graph and Triple Armageddon Night, you guys know I love my Sunday. I'd rather, I'd rather have them than not have them. I don't care if I open up with Triple Dog Graph or Triple Armageddon Night. You know, at least I'm sending, and you know what, that's fine, so... You know, I'd rather be consistent than inconsistent, especially when I'm running like Triple Mally. Gotta have the Triple Dark Graph to keep me in check. I'm getting I always, uh, probably always at three almost in all my Evil decks just because, you know, I generally want him to have synergy with um, the the Dark Monsters in the deck and also Evil, so, yeah. And, of course, Triple Mask Chameleon, because you Mask Chameleon, you can summon back Evil, so more alive before Evil, not bad. And, of course, the Phantom of Chaos, because Phantom of Chaos, uh, goes well with the Bridge Dragon and Mask Chameleon. So, uh, the Bridge Dragon could also summon back you Bell, uh, but uh, the Bridge Dragon summons a monster with and attack or less in your game right in attack position, but of course cannot be used as a single material if the monster is level 4, which, you know, generally it will be. You know, there's no such thing as a Sync 14, so that's a dragon, so <laughs> the Bridge Dragon won't be syncing with you Bell, but it can't sync with Trail to the Chaos, but it can't exceed, so. Uh, that's the reason why we want Phantom of Chaos over anything, because it can work with both these. So this with the Xeo plays, with this can work for Synchro and Xeo plays. But yeah, my one Phantom of Chaos. And yeah, 20 monsters. Half of the deck. Not bad. Triple Roto, of course, because look at them warriors. I need them. I need them. You know. Cannot search Mali like I would want to, but yeah. Not bad. Of course, Foolish. Soul Charge. Broke Charge. Regeki. Double Dark Hole, because, you know. Uh, this deck sometimes takes a little while to pick up steam, so I'll go ahead and throw my Dark Hole, plus, you know, I summon Beals a lot, so Dark Hole and, you know, Evel and stuff. Uh, I used to run uh, uh, Aeris and and the Ferris Archery and Nefariousness, but I started, started taking them out just because I generally didn't do that play often, you know, with the Ferris Archery and Nefariousness, summon back and pop. And it was another card that I had to send, and you know, I, I why not take out those two and just put in two dark holes? And pretty much get this job done. And you know, dark hole. I'd much rather have a dark hole than in my hand than you know an heiress in my hand. So, 
There we go. Of course, Triple MST. I'm starting to fall back in love with MST. I, I fell out of love with it for a second, but it's back on my love for MST. You know, I really love MST. It's awesome. And pop the back row, clear up that field, and let me get ready to do my play. And of course, Triple Limit Reverse, because you know. And also, also both Madly and Plague, so works with them as well, because they're both under a thousand. And Call and Oasis. All right, extra deck, triple bills, because you could probably cut the bills down to two, but I don't know. I was just like, eh, I got room. Why not? Triple bills. Uh, one void. Don't go into Mothman, but when I do, you know, he puts in that work. Uh, one hot red dragon retreat. You know, he's situational, but he puts in that work. Double scrap. I like double scrap because, you know, I'll go like one bills and like two scraps and I get, you know, two pops. So uh, two free pops a turn is just, you know, the power. So very nice. Uh, one dark end. He's situational, but, you know, I like it when I can just go ahead and send. To the graveyard, so if my opponent tries to like wall me with like a Zen mains or something or something pesky that can't be, you know, destroyed uh, by battle or by card effects or something like that, I could just summon Dark End and just send it. So, uh, one Goyo, because Goyo, we have some fours and, you know, plagues. So, if we have to, we'll go ahead and Goyo it up. Uh, King of the Feral Limps, because it searches for Reptile and Masculine. So, I can go, you know, Masculine summon back this. Uh, XE into this, detach, search for another mass command, fuel my play for next turn. So, not bad. One little level chain for more sending cards. Bang, bang, skeet, skeet, GG. Exiton, Castell, and the 101 because I have room next extra deck. So, there you go. There is Plague Bush C Bell. So, uh, it is off now. I give it its farewell deck profile. It's going to be missed. I know that, you know, a lot of you enjoyed it. It was on here from the beginning since, you know, the start of Vine and Wife River and it put in that work. You know, I really never had many complaints with this deck. It did its job. So, uh, it will be missed. But like I said, we get the gist. It's not much and we're just going to move on. We're going to move on. Kind of down to five decks. Still working on Red IQ Bell. Um, let me go ahead and inform you before this video ends. Uh, good news. Good news, everyone. Uh, my webcam did come in the mail. So, uh, I said in my video that, you know, that will temporarily be taking a break uh, from webcam duels. But, hey, we can bring it back with a better webcam. No more of that shitty freaking laptop choppy shit. No, 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 no. We got the HD 1080p webcam right here. It's right on top of my computer. I taped it. Shut up, I know I'm fucking ghetto. I literally, I, I was like, what, I, how do I put this on here? I was like, you know what, roll tape and just taped it to the top of my computer. So it's actually on my desktop, which of course I prefer to use over my laptop. And uh, yeah, we would get back to webcam duels. Like I said, I want to do things, different webcam duels, but we're start, going to start off with, of course, Red Eyes Bell, because I really want to get that deck working or not working so I can determine whether it's going to be on Vime and Y or not. So the quicker I get that done, the quicker we can actually do what uh, webcam duels intended purposes was, which is, of course, um, playing decks that are on a Vime and Y and Daily Duels, if you guys send me and I play them and then, you know, I get the gist of them, then eventually I'll go ahead and do a deck profile and move on. So that's the gist of uh, webcam duels. But uh, the webcam is here. We're going to go ahead and uh, this upcoming, uh, well, not this, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we'll go ahead and come back with webcam duels, uh, test a new version of Red Eyes Bell that I want to go ahead and test and see how that works. You know, hopefully I get it right. Hopefully I can get this deck to work because I really want to use it. But uh, if I can't, then it might have to just get taken off or not even, you know, not even on put on Vitamin Y, which would be sad because I really think that deck has some synergy. So, um, yeah, besides that, uh, you're probably wondering, oh, well, you know, how come you're just doing, like, Death Pros on Files and stuff like that? Why couldn't you quit start the changes this week instead of uh, next week? Because uh, I'm really busy. Uh, finals are my education class that you guys know I talk about. Uh, finals are this week. I'm working on my final uh, right now, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take this week, do my final. I will be done with the class, and then I can devote the rest of the summer all to you guys, all to my channel. So, um... I apologize if you gotta wait another week, one more week, but I prom promise it will be worth the wait. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile of Flagosh Your Bell. Uh, give it a farewell. Uh, thank you for all the support, you know, on all these Flagosh Your Bell videos and all the videos in general. This deck shall be missed, but uh, hey, you know, something's gotta give, right? So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. And uh, we will continue on with the deck profiles, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the deck profile of Burning Abyss that's being taken off of Daily Duels. Alright people, thanks for watching.